Morning, March something, <laughs> March 23rd, 2018, how are you? So the big boys are fighting, the big boys are fighting, I was doing, I did a piece on uh, CNN, CNN, um, how it's become, you know, kind of a, a, you know, we have to start to love CNN's hate, and again, yesterday, right, right out of the box, I think I was accurate in calling their nervousness uh, CNN's nervousness um, at a Financial Times you probably saw this at a Financial Times uh, conference Financial Times is not like like a legitimate conference it's a magazine it's a publication called the Financial Times it's in England I believe um, CNN uh, President Jeff Zucker he called Fox News quote state-run media, a propaganda machine, doing a disservice to the country, right? So this is Jeff Zucker, president of CNN, right, whose parent company is Time Warner, right, multi-billion dollar, quote, publicly traded company, right? So Zucker is over there calling Fox News propaganda. All right, so I'll put the li the links are down below. You can watch the actual um, you can watch the actual interview. I, a lot of a lot of uh, outlets have reported on it, but you should you can watch the actual one. It's kind of fascinating. He also goes on to say that cable news is in its heyday. <laughs> no, it's in the it's in the final breath of its existence. That it it can't survive because they're wholly owned by the. Oligarchy, so they're not they're not actually news, and then so Fox News answers, right? Fox News put out an answer, Hannity, of course, calling CNN's Jeff Zucker a porn king, <laughs> and it's true because if you watch CNN, they've been running the Stormy Daniels thing, you know, round the clock, nonstop, trying to pin Trump's possible consensual sex with a sexy porn star. I don't know, 15 years ago. So what? So what? <laughs> Why? It's stupid, right? The, the big part of this is, yes, Fox News, CNN is is clearly state-run media. There's, there's no doubt about it. I, I did a little, I put a little clip up a, a while ago, uh, and I, I showed you the clip that is being broadcasted into city municipalities around the country, around the city right now. As we lead into the election, CNN is being broadcasted. What I found out too is that, and this 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 was shocking because I asked somebody. I said, "Hey, you guys ever changed that channel? Do you ever change the channel? Do you ever do you, could you lower it or make it louder?" And the guy went like this to me. He looked at me. He goes, <laughs> "That the the TVs that are broadcasting CNN that have a sign underneath it that says." Do not touch the television set. <laughs> In boldface letters. Do not touch the television set. Are controlled remotely from somewhere. <laughs> it's it's nineteen eighty four. It's 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 state run media and they put it on loud and they're broadcasting the fake message, you know. The the point is this Fox back to the argument of Fox versus CNN. Fox is also state-run media. It's also a propaganda machine. But at moments, like if you if you view the clip, I put the Hannity clip down below too. If you p view the Hannity clip, Hannity is actually making sense, right? He's actually calling CNN. CNN is way worse and way more implicated at this time. But Fox has also been in that situation historically, where. They're, they're, they're doing the, the same thing CNN is doing right now, but they're doing it on, on what they see as the other side, the conservative side, which we find that those sides don't really exist anymore. But, um, and Fox, Fox right now, by calling out the Clintons and, and the DNC fraud throughout the 2016 election, is actually doing a very good service to the country in an effort to weaken their enemy, CNN, right? They could fight all they want, but here's the big point. 
neither one of them ever, neither one of these conglomerates ever really, state-run medias, ever really touch on the real issues, which is wealth and income inequality in the country, right? That's the real problem is that, you know, 2 or 3% of the population controls all the wealth, right? And, and instead, we're talking about Stormy Daniels softcore porn on CNN, right? And how the president may have got a little bit on the side, right? This is this has nothing to do with regular people. It has nothing to do with the the, the stealing of democracy. Where where talk about talk about the corruption, but also send the cameras down into Middle America and show the poverty. You know, show that you know sixty percent, fifty. I don't know what the number is. Nobody knows the number because nobody's covered it. You know, show the numbers. Show the Show the fact that America is slipping, that the American dream is no longer happening, right? You know that you know that 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 it that also the thing I said the other day about um, the University of Wisconsin eliminating uh, English history, politics, you know, liberal arts from majors in their school. Now that's state college. It's not private college. Princeton, Yale, and, and, and uh, Harvard would never do something like that because, because rich people should critically think, right? And the rest should just be trained to be slaves. Get in the cubicle, sit at your fucking co- computer, and do your, do your job, or get that shovel and go out and, and dig, right? So, um, oh. so just, just to, to, I mean, CNN claiming that Fox News is state-run media. Now, in 2016, during the Democratic um, primary between Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton, Donna Brazile was a CNN contributor, right? She was someone that went on CNN and was a contributor. And what she did was she accessed the questions, the debate questions that were going to be asked between Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. And she fed those answers back to Hillary Clinton in an effort to give her leverage over Bernie Sanders in the debate, right? I mean, that's, that's the definition of state-run media, that the, the state is dictating the media, right? That's collusion. That was, that's proven, right? That's, that's documented this proof. She even said she did it on national television. So... Where's the, where's the, where, where is, you know, Jeff Zucker talking about that? He is state media, right? No, we fired her though. Yeah, what, you fired her and then she became the, the, the you know, she, she, she became the chairman of, of the fucking DNC. I mean, it's just, it's insane, you know? We need a, a, a separation. I'm a fan of churches in, in New York City. Not because I'm religious, but I think that they're just some of the most beautiful buildings in the city. But they're they're big and they're empty and they're powerless right now, right? They have these beautiful places because in this country they had so much power and so much influence that we had laws passed to break the, the make a separation between church and state. Now, I, I'm not I'm not making a religious comment. I'm just saying that. Entities outside of state should remain outside of state and people should have the right to choose and all that and not be influenced by any one religion or organization. And what we see now is that the media is actually what, what we what 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 we have no other choice to call but media, state run media, is now the the church. It's the church of what you're supposed to know. It's kind of like you're not supposed to question it. You don't critically think, right? Because CNN claims that they get all their information from the deep state, from the inside. It's 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 verified, <laughs> right? It, the state verifies it, so we don't have to investigate, right? So there should be a separation. We should now start to cast laws that, you know, I, I don't know if you need a law, but you definitely need to be aware that that state-run media is now has successfully replaced um, church, right? They turn up the volume. You can't get away from it, right? You're, 
you're, you're passing through a lobby in a city municipality and they, the volume and there's, you know, there's, uh, there's those guys, you know, the CNN jerk offs, right? Talking about, talking about a porn star and Trump and Russia. Fake Russia invest the Russia breaking news the Russia investigation it's 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 beyond ridiculous so but as I said I vowed not to get my to to uh, get my blood boiled so today there is going to be a rally right so all across the country uh, millions of young people are going to rally against gun violence in America because guns were used to shoot up a school in Florida Parkland. Parkland shooting, right? Now, I, I again, I'm a, I'm a fan of real news, right? Like with Vegas, like with the Las Vegas shooting, there was no real, there's no evidence to suggest that one guy did the shooting, right? There's so many holes in that story that suggest that it was, in fact, a false flag. Now, where are the... Another, someone else pointed out, Debbie Lusigna, the, the same progressive. I'm going to get to that in a second. Because she did amazing research, the sane progressive. Go look at her clips, and you'll see her research on Parkland shooting and also on the um, the Vegas shootings. And she confirms in her mind that these were in fact false flags, and I believe her. Right? The 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 the, the one I don't want to talk about the one in Vegas because that's there's, there's a lot of complication there. But the one in the Parkland shooting appears to have been a a uh, a, a, a drill. Right, they simulated a drill in a school, and then they they twisted it to be a live incident. Because where are the where are the what, look when someone you say to yourself that's so fucking corrupt? How could the government would ever stage the killing of young people? Of course they do. They, they, you know, the United States is a is a you know it's a military you know imperialist empire. You kill people all the time. We kill millions of people in foreign countries. So the idea that it's coming home now, and and those kind of tactics are being used on, on uh, us is not unrealistic. But the Parkland shooting, right? When when someone loses a child, when when someone's child gets shot, right? You know, fucking the visceral outrage. The, they never stop fighting. They never stop talking. Like in nine eleven, that wasn't fake. That I don't know who did it. Who knows? We'll never know who did it. But the fact is, I was standing there when the buildings fell. So to say that that was a movie, or I didn't see the plane hit, but it flew right over my house in Soho when I lived there. Right, and I did walk. I in that morning, I, I saw the two holes in the burning buildings. It was a block away. I saw the building, the first one fall, from very about four blocks away, and then I saw the the second one fall from about a mile away. So I'm not saying that that's, that was that was fake, but the Parkland shooting, where's the parents screaming, my child, my child, I want justice. I want justice for my child. There's nothing because it didn't happen, right? Where's the, where's the gore? Where's the blood? Where's the, you know, there's kids on TV saying I got shot three times. Where's the inju- injury? There's no injury. The fucking, you know, Actors. Right? So, but nonetheless, fake news media has convinced them that the shooting is real. That they investigate? No, hell no, hell no. Where's CNN? They just because they're state run. They listen to what the FBI and the CIA tell them. They they take the official report and that's what they report on, and that's fake news, right? It's propaganda. The only people actually looking at it are people in independent media, like, like I am. Like I'm just, I'm just a guy sitting on a bench in a park, right? With I got with a, with a piece of paper and a pencil, right? that I have to report on the news. Now, am I investigative reporting right now? No, I'm, I'm a journalist. I'm looking at the facts and I'm, and I'm, and I'm giving you commentary on on what I see. Right? What else? I yeah, touched all those points. So I'm doing a reading from the from the big book, from the book. You got you're gonna have to figure out who you're gonna have to figure out who it is, and then I'll tell you. You're gonna enjoy this. Man is the only creature that consumes without producing. 
He does not give milk. He does not lay eggs. He is too weak to pull the plow. He cannot run fast enough to catch rabbits. Yet he is Lord of all animals. He sets them to work. He gives back to them the bare minimum that will prevent them from starv starving, and the rest he keeps for himself. Our labor tills the soil, our dung fertilizes it, and yet there is not one of us that owns more than his bare skin. You cows I see before me, you, how many thousands of gallons of milk have you been, have you given during the last year? And what has happened to that milk, which should have been breeding up sturdy calves? Every drop of it has gone down the throats of our enemies. And you hens, how many eggs have you laid in this last year? And how many of those eggs have hatched into chickens? The rest have gone to market to bring money for Jones and his men. And you, Clover, where are those four fowl you bore? Who should have been, who should have supported you and brought pleasure in your old age. Each was sold a year old. You will never see one of them again. In return for your four confinements and all your labor in the fields, what have you ever had except your bare rations and a stall? George Orwell, 1984. I mean, the, the analogy he's using is obviously animals. But Jones's farm, that's where we are. We're on Jones's farm, right? We don't even have the, most people don't even have the luxury of having the children stay in their home and help them, right? Because ch the children are, are taken off out of, out of, you know, deprived uh, areas like Detroit and, and Michigan and all these places all throughout the Rust Belt and throughout the South, that there's no opportunity, so they leave. Right, so you know what I mean. Like it's the same analogy, and they, they're they're brought to market so that they can enter the corporate, you know, the corporate machine and yield profit for the wealthy. Right. right? We're on Jones's farm, people. Orwell was right. It's not. It, there's no. There's no. It's not. It's not. What I'm trying to say. It's human nature, and it's not. Um, it's not dated, right? What Orwell is saying. It's not dated. It's happening. So, my name is Marcus Conti. I am a investigative journalist, a YouTube journalist, sole plaintiff in Contiverse DSNY. And um, make it make a donation. Subscribe. Follow the other people that I mentioned in previous uh, reports. This is real news, folks. This is real news for you. Peace out.